My nail polish is a mess, but a lot of things are a mess right now, so I think it's fine. Good morning, everybody. I Why do I keep saying that? Hello, everybody, and welcome to or back to my channel. I am so sorry that it's been so long. I miss you all so much, but I just... November was the worst month of the year for me so far. Like It was just horrible, and I will get a little bit into that in a little bit. Right now, my altar is a mess, and I just want to clean it. I feel like my brain is messy, and my altar is messy because my brain's messy, so it's time to just do some cleaning and get things organized in a way that feels better and more sustainable. So I'm just going to start cleaning things off, and I will also talk to you guys as I do. I want to... Okay, I have a lot... <clears throat> I have a lot to clean off, but it's been a freaking minute since I've talked to you guys. How is everybody? I miss you all. Um, I'm doing all right. I think that I'm doing a lot better from, this is my, um, little sparklets jar, but I don't think that it needs to be out. It's just kind of creating some visual clutter. So it does not need to be sitting out on my altar at all times. We can just pull it out when we need. Um, this paper will go with it because these are two books that I want to read and have been meaning to read. I don't know if you can see it because it's too dark right now, but they are ones that I think I'm going to keep out with me and I'll just kind of read them as I go. Like I'll, I need it off my altar, but I need them like close. Here are some dice that I've been using for divination and things, but does it need to be directly on my altar? No. Why don't we put it somewhere? What is this? This doesn't need to be in here either. Let's put it somewhere useful. These are all the yarn papers from some knitting projects that I've been doing. I don't know why I decided to put them there. My altar is just my catch-all for random stuff. This is um, something I'm really excited about. This is a book from Catherine Soleil over at, or Catherine Soli, I don't know, over at Persephone's path and it's kind of like a meditation in a book so I'm really really excited to dive into this I will do kind of a little haul as I'm cleaning I'm really 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 excited for that this is something I'm not excited for but is absolutely necessary this is a spell candle that my best friend got for me when we were together when I went home for Thanksgiving so I'm planning on lighting this up and actually using it to starting the affirmation spell. I'm thinking about like maybe doing it for a week or something. Um, also, I need to do my uh, like monthly video, my like month ahead reading. There's a lot of stuff in here that doesn't need to be in here currently. I just feel like everything is so cluttered and so busy and it just doesn't need to be that way. I want to put some of my tarot decks in here because I want to use them more and I feel like if they're in here they'll get used more but I just don't have space right now. So we will find another place for this. This is the Tilbrook Tarot. I was doing the the Tilbrook Tarot is something I've been going to be working with. Well I've been trying to work with it. This is Kelly from the Truth and Stories deck. This is Nellie's deck. I keep it in here for safekeeping. This is the Tarot Noir. I've been actually really loving Marseille lately. Can you guys even see anything I'm doing? I've been really loving Marseille lately. So I think I'm going to keep this out. I don't know if I'm going to do my full month ahead reading with this. I don't think so. Because I'm really feeling the need for like comfort that I get from the Herb Crafters Tarot. But I might do my like 
secondary reading with this or with the Tilbrook Tarot. I'm not 100% certain on those. <clears throat> this is a little prayer bead set that I've been working on. I think that it's good that the light is here because I need it. This is a beautiful, I don't think you can see it at all either. It's just not working out for me well today. Oh my God, and you guys have been lopsided this whole time? Why didn't you tell me? This is a prayer beads set um, that I've been carrying with me a little bit. So I think I'm just going to keep it in its pouch with me. Here are a little sets of like mini things that I've been using too to like bring comfort a little bit. This is a cute baby 3D printed um little bird thing and I love the coloring. So I'm going to keep you on my altar just for now. We need some dusting. There is like cat fur everywhere. It's freaking a mess, but things are getting better and I'm feeling a lot better. My best friend got me this cauldron too, which I'm so excited about. Definitely going to be using it for spells and things because, sorry, I'm like, this lighting is weird, but I don't know. It's been a weird, weird minute for like a long time. I also got this Persephone's Path. Um, it's pathway, like it's a tincture. And I am going to be taking it for as long as I need. I just think that <sighs> this couple of while have, has been hard. And I'm really starting to feel the energy moving and flowing again. <laughs> But it was a minute that I felt really like stagnant and not real great about everything. So to be feeling better about things makes me excited. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. I The fall was a tough season for me, just personally, like for personal reasons. Um, I have been dealing with some bereavement and grief. It's not something I really plan on talking about very much here, but it is what's been like going on in my life and it's been causing some, some weirdness in my feelings and things. But I mean, I think that's to be expected, honestly. When you lose somebody, even if it is expected, or like you kind of are braced for it. It doesn't make it easier. So that was something that I've been kind of, I don't know, like trying to grapple with. Not grapple with per se, but um, I don't know. Work through. Uh, so that's been going on. And then I am in a coven with two of my best friends and one of them did a really big working for the eclipse and it worked because she did it to kind of like cleanse out everything that's like no longer serving us so that we're ready for this new and next phase of life. And it definitely did that, but maybe to a bit of a stronger extent than she was expecting. So I think we all kind of just had a hard November, but it was hopefully to clean out everything that's going to be, just cleanse us from anything that doesn't serve us anymore so that we can really get back on track with our life. Everything's real dusty, too, so I'm just going to clean that off. I'm starting to feel more energized and better about everything. It was hard for a long time in November. I just... 
wasn't doing very well emotionally and all of that stuff. Like it just, there was a lot of crying in November. Okay. And I'm really starting to feel much more optimistic and better about things. So I'm happy about that. But I'm planning on lighting this grief candle in a minute and kind of sitting and doing some stuff with that. And then <clears throat> after that, I think um, I'm going to pull my cards for the month because... For this month, I got the tower as my like main card. So I'm not feeling super excited about that. But honestly, I don't think this month could be worse than November was. So I think it's going to be fine, is what I'm telling myself. Because I don't have a choice. November was awful. And I don't think I'm not going to let December be as awful. I'm, I'm thinking actually that December is going to be like the time where I am taking control of the tower and I'm the one pulling shit down. Excuse my language. Just like knocking everything down. I think that December is the time for that. And I, that's the like energy and stuff that I'm really feeling. So I think that's going to be better than, um, the weirdness of November. I'm also going to, I think, pull out my, journal my tarot journal and start journaling a couple of things there's some stuff that I've been thinking about I'm gonna um you know review the month and stuff like that and then get right into some tarot stuff but this was just a freaking crazy month it was a crazy month it was a hard month but I'm feeling much more hopeful and optimistic and I think we should pull a card before I end this and then we'll start. Um, I'll show you kind of in depth the book and then maybe talk about stuff. But let's start. From the You Are Here Oracle. This is one of my absolute favorites. Don't know that you can see. Yeah. Hang on. This is one of my absolute favorites. I love this deck and I think it's so like short and sweet and to the point and helps me so often. It really makes me just sit with where I am sometimes, which is exactly what I need. And it pulls me back into the present because I find a lot of times that I am so far thinking into the future and all of that stuff and it's not how I want to be, but it is how it is. So I really think that it may be the top card actually. It is the top card. The top card feels right. Wow. Okay. Wow. Okay, um, the card that we got, I don't think that you guys are going to be able to see it. Um, the card that I got is energy field. Get back what you put into the universe. Manifestation, attraction, momentum. Momentum is exactly what I'm trying to get. Manifestation is exactly what I'm doing. And then the back of the deck is cold lands, which I've never seen this card before. It says, learn how to keep yourself warm. Abandonment challenges aloofness. And I think that that's exactly right. Is there is some abandoning that I've been doing 
<clears throat> so I'm going to try and fix that. There's cold lands. That's the back of the deck. And energy field. Here is the You Are Here book. But it's got little images and then just a phrase to kind of sit with. So I think I'm going to try and work through this on a regular basis. I'm going to carry it around with me just like I carry around my copy of the Herb Crafters Tarot Guidebook. And I keep the um, Margaret Peterson tar Tarot Guidebook as well with me on a regular basis because I think that bibliomancy is a very strong way that I connect with my practice and my craft and that these kinds of little books really help me to do that. So that is all I've got for you guys right now. Thank you for coming with me to kind of clean up my altar. Oh, that's upside down. I'm going to go do this um, spell candle and then hopefully I will be back recording one more video for you all and you will get that next week as well. So I miss you guys so much. I'm so glad to be back for a minute and to see you guys. It's been a rough bit. We had a rough go of it, but I'm feeling better. And I will see you all very, very soon.